It's a new championship season for Dublin with a brand new manager and Jim Gavin gives four footballers their first taste ever of senior championship football. Darren Daly, Johnny Cooper and Jack McCaffrey are the new kids on the Dublin defensive block while Paul Mannion gets the right corner forward jersey to join Paddy Andrews and Bernard Brogan in an inner line that has goals written all over it. Newly promoted Division 1 side Westmead look very strong from goalkeeper Gary Connington to full forward Dennis Glennon. David Duffy and John Heslin's performance in the middle of the field will be crucial. They also have an impressive half back line of Doran Hart, Paul Sharry and John Gaffey. The bad news however is that Desi Dolan can't start with a hamstring problem. His place goes to Kieran Curley. It's the 16th championship meeting between the counties with the score standing at 12 to 3 in Dublin's favour choice here Mannion or Brogan they get both involved and the finish is sublime it's that simple ominous signs from a Westmead perspective outrageous pace uh, is the fear I have if I was marking these guys they're just flyers and their ball movement and uh, foot movement very very fast great score Jack McCaffrey is able to give the long pass accurately Paddy Andrews, one, two, and it's over the bar. High quality football using the long diagonal pass from Jack McCaffrey and a brilliant finish. McCaffrey, just 19 years of age, won't be 20 until October. Keno Sullivan, Kieran Kilkenny, will be 20 in August. You get the picture, this is a very young side being built and created by Jim Gavin. One and all Ireland at 7.95. Here's Keen O'Sullivan, straight between the posts. Brilliant. Really cuts inside with the, the slicer. Excellent. Paul Flynn. Gone inside is Paddy Andrews. He needs the support outside. There's nobody there. Andrews does it himself. And the ball goes over the crossbar for Paddy Andrews' second point of the game. It's easy, very easy for Dublin, and we only have 20 minutes played. Paul Sharon, introduced to the Westmead team by Tomasa Flaherty, ex Shamrock Rovers footballer. Here's one man who could score for Westmead Dennis Glennon, and he gets inside the cover rather easily, provided by Rory O'Carroll. Still, Glennon makes an angle. Is it going over the bar? The umpires have Hawkeye. a look. It's, and there is a white flag. Hawkeye hasn't been called in, but it is over the bar. Picked up again by Jack McCaffrey. Great burst of speed. Heading towards the 20. Going to lay it off. Chance here for Dublin for another score, and it's well taken. That taste that uh, Jack McCaffrey can uh, inject, Keen O'Sullivan can inject, James McCarthy can inject, it's the Rolls-Royce stuff. They're just moving away so effortlessly from the chase and pack. But they're not under any great pressure because look at the defence from Westmead. They're wide open here again. Dear McConnelly, Westmead get back to Paul Flynn and it's over the bar for his second point of the game in his fifth championship season. It's so easy for Dublin. Comes back first, Keno Sullivan. Paul Flynn, floating one in towards Bernard Brogan. Wins it handily enough, turns, oh. shoots and scores. It's his fifth point of the match, his second from play. And the Hill 16 applauds one of their stars. They appreciate the hard work, the graft, and indeed the quality of the finish. Dennis Glennon. Scored the first point for Westmead after 23 minutes. Had an eye at the goalpost at the Davin end. Makes an angle, takes a shot, and it's over the bar. He's really on his own, Marty, I'd say, Dennis Glenn. You'd have to say the lone serious threat because he can penetrate with his pace. Uh, and once you take him out of it, Westmead, they're really struggling in the absence of, of Desi Dolan to give him a handout. Dear McConnell. Back for is Michael Darrell McCauley again. Connolly has a deadly left foot. Here it comes, and there it goes. It's his second point of the game. Double scores in Croke Park, and to be honest with you, Dublin are playing in just about second gear. Jim O'Connell up into the air and lays it off quickly. Good ball inside towards Dean Rock, heading towards the 20. 
The layoff is to Barry Andrews. Is there a goal on here? He tucks it away. Magic. Barry Andrews. One goal, three points. Rock to Andrews. Ballymon to St. Bridget's. Westmead have no answer. A very, very simple goal, brilliantly put together. So beautiful to watch. Well, there were favourites coming into the match. They are the league champions. But they are playing with a certain swagger. And they're finishing it off with a brilliant point by Dermot Connolly. And Dublin strolling to that Leinster semi final. Dublin worthy winners. They are not just realistic contenders for the Leinster Championship, they are realistic contenders for the All Ireland. Pat Flanagan congratulates Jim Gavin. Dublin worthy winners, never in any doubt. And a full time score of Dublin one goal and 22 points, Westmead nine points. Patchy performance, um, but great to get the result. Um, you know, Westmead are very honest uh, in, in the game and, and certainly put up to us for, for certain quarters of it. But I think yeah, the last part of the game we kind of pulled away and probably wasn't a true reflection of the intensity that Westmead brought to the game. Pat Kilroy spent two or three years downing and deafening all the hype, but the hype will start up again here. And they're playing into Kildare team. They didn't play great either, so the hype machine will rage again. And really and truly, they haven't been tested uh, tonight. They won't have learned a whole lot. So supporters might get a bit excited now. That's a convincing win in any stage of the Leinster Championship. You can only play what's in front of you, you can only beat what's in front of you. I suppose from the Dublin perspective, they'll have been looking really just to kind of go through their game plan, execute everything as best as they possibly could. And I thought some of their play tonight was very, very good. But as I say, it was no, it was no real test in relation to the kind of examinations they're going to get later on. The pace and the power of this. It's almost frightening and it just shows the scope and the scale of the squad that they have and very, very similar athletically, all of them. And uh, I thought it was a very firm marker that uh, Dublin laid, laid down. And, and looking at it on a broader scale, the richer are getting richer in Gaelic football. And this emphasises it here that there really is large gaps developing 